Hey there everybody, my name is Kitten and welcome back for another video of Old World. Now I'm a little bit uh, tired of this bullshit, but uh, hopefully it works this time around. I tried it out, I tweaked some things here and there. Uh, the mods, I, I found out what, uh, what mod was the problem. Uh, the mods weren't working again. Uh, I couldn't load my game because one of the mods wasn't working properly. So I completely removed this mod, started a new game, and I have to restart a new game. I can't load my save file. My save file is completely corrupt because of that one mod. That mod is corrupting every save file. So I went ahead and created a new game again. We're going to start Take 3, boys. Take 3 in last chance, all right? Third time's the charm. Let's hope it's the case this time around. Let's hope it's actually worse because I'm gonna lose my mind if it's the case, boys. I'm not even gonna try to play this game if the save file gets corrupted again, alright? So, let's just keep the way it is. Keep it the way it is. Uh, the mod that wasn't working for everyone that wants to know is Archetype Plus. That is the one mod that wasn't working for me. It was corrupting my save file for one reason or another. And I don't even care at this point. I'm not even going to try to look for it. Uh, this mod uh, needs to be worked on a little bit more properly. Because it was definitely corrupted everything. And I couldn't even load anything. And I, it's preventing me from doing Let's Plays. So I can't deal with that. We're going to start over. I actually added a couple more mods that were created over uh, a few weeks. Uh, over the week. At least we got a few mods, but we don't have archetype. All right, but that's it is what it is. We're gonna make do without it. Uh, we're we're gonna have to make do. I already went ahead and did the first turn. I didn't want to bore you guys. Same thing, really. I'm working on the Ain Gardens, uh, working on the warrior unit uh, over here. We don't want the settler because we already know what we're going after. So we're going after the uh, festival right here. There we go. Fantastic. We know what we're going to do. We're going to rush through, uh, things through in this video a uh, big time. I'm going to make it as far as I can. Closest, uh, I think we were turn 12 or something like that. I'm going to get there as quick as possible. Not going to waste any time. Just so it's flawless as possible, boys. All right. And it's not going to be the same people and all of this, obviously. But uh, let's end the year and uh, make it as fun as possible. I already tweaked it. I checked it out, I went back to the menu, loaded my game, and it worked. So hopefully when I actually stop recording and I go after another day, like tomorrow or something like that, I can actually come back to the latest save file this time around and play the game. So hopefully it's going to work. Uh, second turn, let's see what we got. So tyranny or uh, constitution. Let's see, my word is law. That would give us more training. But uh, in happiness, but I don't really want that. That would give us more culture, so uh, or more civics. I want more civics, obviously. So we're going to do constitution. Uh, let's go. Uh, next unit is obviously my general right here. We're going to actually, yeah, we're going to continue to upgrade him. Uh, it's already level one. Highlander damage plus damage. I'm going to do bloodthirsty. There we go. So he's got upgraded even further. Uh, you, buddy, are going to harvest the, that cattle right there. You're going to go there and harvest these horses as well. Make us a lot of money. And I guess along the way, just travel and try to figure out. There we go. There's a vent right there for us. The Diviner. A woman sits upon a crumbling da uh, daze in the center of the room. Arms raised to the heavens. I've been waiting for you, she says as she inhales fumes from the stone dish. That's one thing we already seen before. So, uh, the man, a message from the gods. I don't have that. I'm not superstitious. So I can either get some science right away or can let her join the court. I'm going to let her join the court. We're going to need uh, someone like her in the near future, I feel like. So, that's pretty much that. We already know that in for, uh, the, for the next turn, we're going to be able to quickly uh, build a, a unit and stuff like that. So, that's done okay yeah we got uh, the general right here i can't really do anything with him i'm just gonna fortify him because i don't want to do anything if i basically don't have anything else to do with him uh 
now we can go back into game editor see what we can do right here so let's modify some things here do we want another worker boys or do we want another melee unit i really want to work on my army in this video but um i i feel like we could go for simply another worker really so let's uh let's get another worker in here there we go close that shit up and uh get another worker and get it uh, get it done really so build a mine we could build a mine i guess yeah, let's go uh let's go there and build a mine uh really quick uh do our thing so next thing right there what do we want uh with uh this scout right here let's get uh, harvest some camels again get there we're gonna actually uh, move a little bit more right there vandals all right so we want to cover the vandals we got a free army from that which is uh fantastic that's a that's a really good thing we can actually promote this guy this unit which I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, guard or brave melee. I'm going to do brave just so we get some melee. So we got uh, another military unit just from that, boys. All right, so next turn, let's see what we got. Uh, this guy's still sleeping. We don't need to use him right now. What we do need is to uh, get a general for him. Uh, what, uh, what options do we have? So promotions, not valid for this unit, but Sophia the Marksman. Or uh, Theodora the minister. She's minister, so I don't know. Plus 6 XP. Is she any good? Does she have courage? She has a... Uh, I think the heart, right? Art is courage, right? I'm not sure. I think it is. I'm not entirely sure, boys. Uh, charisma. No, that's uh, charisma. Courage is... Okay, no, it's this one. I'm going to put her. I'll choose her. So she's going to be my general for this army. Uh, you're going to go here. There you go. Let's see. Prophecy. Something you discovered. The thunder. Deflect. Yeah. So we already seen that in the last video as well. So it's a statue. So some things stay the same really. So that's good at least. Uh, becomes righteous. It's a coincidence. Nothing more. Uh, perhaps it is distant and sinister. No. It's a sign that I've been chosen. So I am divine now. Good. So now I am divine. That's fantastic for us. Let's go there. Unlock everything that we can. There we go. Just go into these directions. I want to unlock uh, these area first. These areas first. Uh, let's go into year five. So, so we're in the next turn. I do want to look at the vandals really quick. Now the vandals are a bunch of barbarians. I don't think I need to worry too much about them right now. I think I'm just going to go back with my military unit. And keep them both to close together. Uh, this guy. My workers are still working right now. In one turn I'm going to have festival done. And that's pretty good. Uh, which means I'm going to have a little bit more culture uh, happening. Uh, and we are growing slowly but surely. So that's good. As soon as I turn population 4. I'm going to turn. I'm going to get myself a new settler boys. But for right now we can just focus on uncovering a bunch of different stuff areas and all yeah let's just go there with our scout and uncover as much as possible nothing to uh really uncover so far we don't have a wife yet we only uh, we are already 38 years of age so maybe finding a wife soon would be great for us uh civics is doing all right let's just end the turn and uh we're getting a lot of gold oh, gold's never been a problem for us it's just really the civics things now, one of you guys did comment uh, about the fact that uh, it was a bit riffy, right? The way the map uh, was going on. So hopefully it's better this time around. If it's not, I can always switch it up. Uh, if we go into options, there we go. So I went, my frames were at 100 FPS, boys. Uh, I put it at 60 FPS. So maybe that's going to be better for you guys. I hope so at least. I hope it's, it's better at 60 FPS. You guys let me know if uh, what the quality is uh, of the video. If it's a bit too slow or a bit too wacky. You can tell me. I can switch. Make some tweaks here and there. Uh, this is manageable. A lot more than managing, managing mods. That's for sure. So I can work with that. All right. Don't worry about that boys. I can work on it. Uh, big time if you guys uh, notice something just tell me and uh, I'll work on it right away 
just fortify this guy. I guess I don't really have anything uh, this unit right now. So just going to let my two military units sleep for now. Uh, you are going to go here and uh, just uncover a bunch of stuff. Let's harvest these game. Which is interesting uh, name for these animals. Okay, there we go. So we don't really have anything right now. But we do need to choose a new production over Constantinople. Since we're done with that. So let's just go for festival again. Unless, no. Decree would give us more decisions per turn. But it doesn't really matter, right? We don't really need decisions at this point in time. We do have a marriage offer. Finally, we're going to have a wife. Uh, marriage. So which one do we want? Sophia the marksman. Which is my second general right now. Two of courage. Two of wisdom. Uh, or we have her, which is discipline. So queen, civics, and science. This one gives us courage and science. Now I already have her as our general. But I kind of like this one more because she does give us gold, civics, and stuff like that. So this one is a lot better. Theodora, the minister, is actually going to be my wife. I'm just going to let Sophia do her, f her own thing as our general and stuff like that. Uh, let's do take a look. So we do have uh, Theodora, Queen Consort Theodora, but she's 29. I am 39, uh, so she is uh, 10 years old, uh, younger than me. Well, that's fine. Uh, we are a turn six, so we can actually get ourselves uh, not really a worker. I think two workers are fine right now. Uh, I think maybe a slinger would be great. Uh, did we search for the slinger? We, I don't think we searched for the slinger, actually. Ne now that I think about it. Yeah, we're still searching for it. So we could probably just go for one of the technologies, really. Uncover technology, that would be great. So yeah, just uncover technology. I guess uh, iron working. Uh, trapping. That's the one we're working on right now. So there we go. We just uncovered trapping. All right, so that's what we were working on. I went ahead and unlocked it early on. So now that we got it, I think we should go for shrines. There we go. And that's pretty much that. So now uh, we can probably be, go and get uh, go for after uh, slingers if we want to uh, later on. All right, so succession. Looks like we got a, a child. Looks pretty cool. Princess Elena. Oh, it's a girl. It's a girl too. All right, so... Our main heir is going to be a girl. Once your heir has grown up, yeah, I know how it works. Good. We got some uh, culture out of that too, which is uh, always good. Uh, these two, I can basically, yeah, I'm going to wait it out. We still uh, are waiting to get more training, more uh, stuff like that uh, to promote these guys. They're not really doing too much right now, so not a lot I can do with them, to be honest. I'm just letting my scout do my thing. Let's see uh, really, really quick. Uh, what do we have? Do we have enough civics? Not really. But if we go here, it's still a progenitor. Next thing I want to do is really go into dynastic. Right? I really do this thing. Looks like she's got the little bonuses here. Now this, I don't exactly know what that means. The little symbol. If you guys can let me know what that uh, this means. Uh, maybe that would be uh, really helpful because I know there's a fame uh, thing right here. What about this, the symbol right here? Does this mean she is a true hair or something like that? Like she's not a bastard? Like I don't know what that means. But uh, let's just move on with our scout. We did uncover some barbarians. Looks uh, like we are going to have some job to do with our units. We uncovered an end other civilization which is the Persians they're pretty far away though so it's just one of their units was roaming around here I guess yes let's just get our scout around the regions right here there we go so we still have uh, 111 decisions to do I'm gonna send my general up there and my other unit right there as well all right good 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 boys so we just have our two uh, military units. We're going to have to take care of these barbarians really quick. Clear them out from our space. All right, so next turn, precious metals. It looks like we've uncovered some precious things. In the stroke of good luck, a cache of precious metals has been discovered in a new mine near Constantinople. Constantinople. 
how should we use this unexpected boom? Uh, add it to the treasury or a be beautify the city? I'm actually going to beautify the city. Yeah, more uh, culture, the better. The more culture, the better, boys. There we go. Just a quick boost, really. That's perfect. Uh, we are population four. Hold on. Yeah, we're population four. So what that means... I'm going to have to, uh, next uh, turn, right? I'm going to get a settler. I'm going to get working on another city, boys, for us. That's pretty much that. We're uh, done with one of our workers. I guess the mine is done. So now we could probably go there and build a camp. Uh, what's the camp going to do for us, though? I don't exactly know. Uh, we can't get roads. Well, we could get working on roads, I guess. I think our next city, yeah, I'm definitely going to put my next city up there. So I should probably just start building roads. So for roads, though, I do need rocks. I think that's what I need. So, yeah, perfect. And now I can go for roads. Oh, I don't have labor force anyway. All right. So if I don't have that, I might as well just They're tell me to go for the camps uh, camp here. So I might as well go work on that. Uh, units, military units, you're going to go here. And uh, you are going to go here and start attacking. Who is that? A marauder? I'm going to work on uh, on the marauder real quick. You're going to work on this guy. Okay, it's going to be a bit rough. But I, f I think I'm going to be fine. Let's just move up here. Try to unlock everything. I don't want anything to be uh, unknown right now. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Gain so gaining some more knowledge over our areas. Looks like uh, Persia is not too happy about us. They're not too friendly to us. That's for sure. Let's hope that we can uh, work on that uh, friendship a little bit. Your wife has given birth to a son, Justin. All right, so we got a son now, another uh, child. News have arrived from above that the king of Persia is dead and the new ruler is on the throne. So a uh, fallen rival. Said can you congratulation gift? Uh, so a gift from him. Or do we do that? Which is offer condolences. Uh, would give us plus two a science. Would give the uh, we could, I guess, plus two a science. That would give us not too much actually. Let's just uh offer our condolences and that gives us uh, some science as well, right there, some wisdom uh, wisdom. That's pretty good for Constantine himself. Uh, I'm going to go there. Start attacking him. There we go. We're going to finish this warrior up. There we go. Our, one of our warrior units shows exemplary courage on the battlefield. Uh, it's general merit. Promotion. Promote the, uh, a warrior. Uh, I guess. That would give us more XP. What about this? Gain triumph. All the celebration. Or uh, we cannot afford such. No, no, no. Uh, we're going to do one of those. Do we do a celebration? I'm going to hold a celebration. Why not? I don't exactly know what it does. But I think it could be good for us. So let's just hold a celebration. See what it does eventually. Uh, I think my two units. Yeah, we're done with that. Next thing is going to be you, buddy. Uh, you're actually going to go there. I want you to harvest these horses. And let's see what this pop-up is. We are now an explorer. Good. Uh, our explorers discovered a group of orphaned, homeless, and hungry children hiding in the ruins. If we leave them, they will surely uh, starve to death. But our city are on the verge of overcrowding. Doesn't matter. Cannot become a home for charity? No, no, no. Uh, we will shelter them. That would give us pl another plus two charisma. Yeah, I want that. I will uh, shelter them, boys. There we go. Let's shelter uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the kids and stuff like that. And that gives us another plus two charisma, which is puts us as plus four charisma overall, which is a lot of plus uh, civics, boys, plus 20 civics just from the king itself. Constantine it has a lot of charisma, boys, has a lot of bonuses and stuff like that. And I, I love it. I love it so much. That's going to really help us out. And uh, she's helping us out as well. Uh, the two are have a lot of charisma. So that's pretty much done for this turn. Legitimacy. I'll show them who's legitimate. Yeah, we have plenty of legitimacy. 
We have 30 of legitimacy right now, so we're doing good. Oh, I actually forgot we were in the ninth turn, right? Yeah. Hold on. A chilly distance uh, seems to separate you from the Rife. It only grows colder. She has asking for time in your busy schedule. Okay. Uh, make it happen. Yeah. Let's just make it happen. Make sure that she's. Uh, we are there for her. Let's kill five enemy units. That's going to be my objective. Uh, we're going to end up killing this unit really quick. Yeah, with this guy. And finishing him off with my general, right? Yes, we finished him off. So, good. My king's doing fantastic right now. We're in one turn. We're going to have the hanging gardens. Plus, the festival is going to be done. Which is really going to help out big time with the city. Uh, it's, uh, we're going to move on from plus one to plus two. And the hanging gardens, what does it give us? I'm not entirely sure. I think it does a uh, plus four or plus three or something. That would mean plus six or plus seven for our, our city. Something around uh, these corners, boys. Uh, I did forget about that uh, in the ne last turn, though. So let's take a look on that. I do. I did want to uh, work on the settler, right? So I would, I said I was going to go there, but then again, going here would be great as well. So. I think I'm actually gonna go here, uh, right here. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna put another settler. Uh, I'm gonna put a settler and put it uh, right there, boys. So we're spawning a settler, and we're actually gonna put him. We're gonna do the same thing. There we go. Pl more growth per turn. He's idle right now. We're just gonna put him as festival for him. Can we get some cities? No, we can't do anything with him right now, but uh, that's okay. So, Adrianovo is our new city, boys. Here we go. We're moving fast. Faster than we were last time because I really want to make it as quick as possible. Do a lot of stuff, right? So, harvest some elephants. Let's uh, make a go around really quick. The Tracians. Now is the time to strike. I'm already uh, battling the Barbarians. Or actually, we finished up the Barbarians. So, I think... I think we can do it. Let's go at war. Yeah, let's go at war with the Tracians. Uh, and uh, show them what's good, really. Show them what we're made of. So we're going to send my two uh, military units. We're going to send them uh, up south. And defeat the Tracians really quick. It gives us uh, some legitimacy. So I need that big time. Indian Gardens are done. We uh, give bir gave birth to another um, child. Which is a daughter this time around. Antonia or something like that not entirely sure but uh, I believe that's what it said so I'm gonna go for I'm gonna continue to go for uh, the uh, I guess festival every time show respect on oh, no, I want to see what this is right here so we're done with that right we can't work on roads just yet because we don't have it like technology which is labor force I could probably I should probably send him uh, the the worker I should should send him to, uh, over to Adrianople so we can work on that city a little bit more uh, you hold on show respect what is this so uh, seeking to improve relations the king of Persia arrives to address the court during introductions our tax whatever his name is insists that members of the court kneel to kiss his feet as is customary in Persia the head of our noble houses passionately object to this request as a grumble of discontent passes through the crowd. Uh, he looks at you for a decision. We do not have any of these two, so we can't do that. So our people should uh, not be forced to obey your customs. That would give us more legitimacy, but minus one science, so uh, minus two science. Yeah, I can't do that, these two, so I'm just going to do this one. There we go. We're removing the science that I had, but in the in this term, uh, I still have at least a good amount of stuff. So we got the Angian Gardens done. Good. Yeah, remove the the science, but at least I still have charisma, which is really good. I've got a lot of charisma, to be honest. Yeah. So now we're at plus five charisma, plus three discipline. Charisma is all the way to the top, boys. I much prefer that than having uh, the science thingy. And uh, we can always leave. So we got these options as well, right? Abdicate the throne, which I'm not going to do. Uh, I can divorce the, uh, the queen if I don't like her. I'm not going to do that, though. 
uh, leave a warrior so i can always leave right retire uh to myself but i am not gonna do that just yet uh, i am gonna send this unit right here my military unit i want to send you okay can not send you right there buddy come on now okay send you right there heal you up yeah, i need to heal my general up uh, this guy doesn't need to be healed though so just gonna move them up boys big time we need to uh send these two military units do their job uh, next unit is my gonna be my scout obviously so my scout right here we're gonna harvest anything and everything that we can do uh, that we can we get some vandals here and there we're out of civics uh, or uh, decisions i guess that we can make so let's just wait for the next turn in the next turn uh year 12 which means we can actually uh quickly purchase a, uh, a unit and stuff like that uh i can i can work on a shrine right away i can just work on a shrine right there i just need stone so i'm just i'm gonna buy stone boys i i don't care i'm gonna do it so shrine that would give us plus five right there i want to go for the civics obviously and this uh so, so we're gonna go for this one civics and culture is always the best thing right here and the uh, city is connected to its capital uh yeah it's they're both connected to each other which is really good uh which means basically they're helping out each other uh really in growth and then everything uh as much as possible we're gonna heal you up general it's almost over there all right so that's a lot we got a lot of stuff we gotta do though so we gotta be careful here we i can yeah there we go i'm gonna do that just yeah purchase a lot of stuff i need 50 or something like that so yeah we're gonna work on that and you're gonna work on this one right here on this shrine good uh next thing uh I, before i do anything with this unit because i'm starting to get ri uh, out of options uh, i'm actually i can i can have a sling a slingers now so i am gonna work on the slinger and i'm gonna send it right away right there all right so it's gonna be a slinger right here and he's gonna start attacking there I go from afar so we got our slinger boys and that's what i want to do i just want to work with him properly and, and stuff like that uh, i'm gonna send him over here they were behind uh, our enemies uh, enemy lines and see what we got uh, waiting for us nothing really okay good we need a new research or so we're done with the the stuff we could go for roads slavery and freedom or forums would give us more civics, but roads. Roads is uh, the mo uh, one I want to go for because uh, maybe I can quickly uh, research it eventually, right? In turn 15, and I can get basically roads going through there so we can uh, travel faster, really. There's also another thing that I can do. I can finally go for a dynastic, which is what I wanted to do, boys. So, yes, I want to replace it. I want to use my civics. And now uh, Prince Elena is officially my big time heir she was already my heir but now she's uh definitely gonna be my heir for good uh because i've got dynastic on which means it's the closest heir right it's the oldest direct line to your king which is elena right now so it looks like we're gonna have a queen up next after it's constantine is uh dies or something happens to him and theodora is still 35 man it's pretty young Theodora can chill, give me a couple of children. That's pretty good. All right, next turn. Uh, the Tracians did went, uh, did went ahead and attacked my uh, Slingers, but doesn't matter. I'm actually going to promote them. Focus, Highlander, Brave. I'm going to just do Brave right there. There we go. That means also that they're going to be able to have a general uh, or, uh, later on. I'm going to yell my unit right there to the max, my king. And I'm going to send this guy right here. There we go. So we got a, a natural melee unit to back him out, boys. Back uh, back his actions. Uh, two turns for the culture to be done. Uh, we already have... Hold on. What is this? We already have festival. Uh, weak. We're pretty weak there in terms of culture. We're growing there also, though. But, so that's good, I guess. I don't know what that means. Discounted. Oh, that's the discounted. Okay. Uh, you are not very happy. They're not very happy, but that's fine. That's really fine, boys. And what about uh, what about my my scout? Can't really do anything with him right now. Uh, I'm just gonna go and go on this direction this time around. 
There we go. We're going to take a look. We got something right here. Our pop-up. We are the intrepid now. Okay. Monuments of Law. Our explorers come across a series of weathered monuments lost in the undergrowth. Uh, grove. Upon closer inspection, the structures appear to be in inscribed with the laws of a forgotten sea. What should we do? Since they send sages to learn what they can or send laborers to smash them into needed rubble. No, no, we're going to need civics. Yeah. Let's get that done. There we go. We're upgrading in civics already. Just because of that, boys. It's fantastic. Creations are even up there as well. So we're completely war with them right now. So we got to be careful. You can get a general. Uh, I, I think her, the queen uh, could probably be a good general. But I don't want to send them, uh, send her in there. Uh, as a general so since she is already touring my son so I think I'm just gonna start attacking use them use them uh, uh, properly you are gonna go there start attacking there we go with my melee unit and uh, you are just gonna move up boys there we go the, the king needs to move up next turn uh, we are near 14 okay uh, what about you uh, I think we're just going to move him up really quick and uh, take a look at what we got right there. We can harvest some horses, which I'm going to do always. There we go. So we uncovered all of this. It's pretty much free land for us, free real estate. Uh, basically, we can have another city around these corners, stuff like that. Like we got a lot of places we can get some cities. It's clear of space. Uh, the, the closest person uh, actual civilization towards us is Persia and it's all the way there uh, We got a lot of work uh, ahead of us. We can a lot of uh, maneuvers that we can do So let's uh, go for one more turn boys. So let's just go ahead. We're gonna finish them off with the slinger There we go. Barbarian camp needs to be cleared uh, We did a good job with uh, these guys right here. They're uh, moving up big time. It's a lot of experience for them uh, uh, we cleared out this place, which is fantastic. Now that they're cleared, uh, I can move up right there. And I'm going to uh, move him up right here. He's going to be attacked, but that's fine. All right, that, that's fine. That's fine if my king gets attacked. I don't truly care. We got a, Just from that, we gained a lot of legitimacy, which gives us 41 of legitimacy. Boys, that's a lot. That is a lot right there, so... Continue to work on the festival right there, buddy. Two turns is going to be done for his temple. There we go. Festival is going to be done in one turn over Constantinople, our capital. And uh, it looks like in one turn as well, next turn, we're going to have, finally, we're going to move up from the new type of culture, which is going to be really good for us because we're going to be able to uh, basically build stuff faster even. And... Uh, I'm hoping, uh, I think we're going to go into developing culture next. So we're going to be able to actually uh, quickly purchase some stuff, right? Re uh, buildings and stuff like that. We are population five. That's good. How is it going for population here? Pretty good, pretty good. Since we're uh, turn 15 as well, uh, what I can do is I could probably just heal this guy up. Or even give this guy a turn. I don't exactly know what I want to do in particular but uh, i am going to use my my scout really quick right here there's some tracians right here as well all right so we got some more tracians oh over up north and stuff okay all right all right so that's that i guess uh we still have six decisions to do so i don't exactly want what i want what i want a disciple would be for the temples and stuff like that i don't have that uh, no point in having another sling. I think uh, two million units in a slinger is fine as it is. Uh, I don't exactly know what I should get though. So let's promote him. Uh, next turn we're going to be able to do that because we don't have a... Yeah, we need cooldown, right? We're going to wait another turn. We're going to have to wait another turn. But I use that turn, that special turn to give that guy a bonus, right? A level up. So that's that, I guess, for the slinger. I think that's pretty much it for this video. I think we're going to end it here. Uh, we did pretty good. We faced up against... We killed barbarians up north. Uh, out south, we took care of the Thracians. We attacked them, right? Just for get a little more legitimacy. We're about to take them out on the south over here as well. Southeast. 
and maybe move out towards here i'm not entirely sure just yet uh yet they do are uh, they are gonna upgrade in three years in two three turns basically to an outpost which i don't exactly know what that means probably they're become they're gonna become cities and stuff like that this one is gonna be strong a little bit stronger so uh, I don't exactly know. So maybe that's going to be the entire thing right here. Uh, they're going to move up in terms of territories. I'm not sure yet, boys. We'll see. Remember to do the like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And hopefully, next time I actually want to load the save file, it's going to work. So let's, let's hope for it, boys. Keep it easy.